This is the MRTV review of the Cyber Shoes that promise to allow you to walk in virtual reality. Coming up. Hi and welcome to MRTV. My name is Sebastian Ang and if this is your first time here and if you're just as excited about VR and ARSB, then subscribe now and click on the bell button so don't miss anything. We all love virtual reality because of its immersion. It's simply great to be in virtual worlds and to nearly forget that things are actually not real. However, there is still one element that constantly reminds us that things are not real and this is locomotion. So how do we move in VR? Well, we use our thumb on the thumbstick to move either by teleportation or by free locomotion. And well, that is obviously a disconnect since in the real world, we cannot simply move around by, yeah, by clicking a button. To solve this problem, you might go for an omnidirectional treadmill. However, you will need lots of space and lots of money to do so. But well, very few of us do have the space and the money to buy an omnidirectional treadmill. Now, this is where the cyber shoes come in. The cyber shoes promise to allow you to walk in virtual reality even if you don't have enough space or money to go for an omnidirectional treadmill. Now, does it work? Well, you might be in for a surprise. Find out more by simply watching this review. But let's start from the beginning. How do the cyber shoes actually allow you to walk in virtual reality? Well, the cyber shoes have rolls built into them and you strap them on, you sit on a swivel chair and the actual walking movements that you do on a carpet that you have to have for this to work will be translated into in-game movement. The cyber shoes are actually an ongoing Kickstarter project and a very successful one. Within like one hour, they blasted through their goal of $34,000 and are now at around $200,000 with 15 days left to go. I'm a backer too. I got them for like $175, but if you are fast, then probably you can still get them for around $199, but there are only a few left. And if you're watching this review, a bit too late, then probably they are all gone at this price point. Anyways, let's have a closer look now at the cyber shoes and check out if they actually work. So these are the cyber shoes and on the bottom right you see this little white box which is actually the receiver that you connect to your computer via USB. But now let's have a closer look at the cyber shoes. So these cyber shoes, you strap them onto your real shoes and you use this strap here to do so. And quality wise, I can tell you that the whole thing looks and feels really, really solid. So you don't have to be afraid that you're going to break your cyber shoes anytime soon. And I've been using them now for more than three weeks actually, and I have no problems with quality whatsoever. So let's have a look now at the inputs of the device. So on one side here on this side, we have a micro USB connection that you can see here. And you would use it to simply charge the cyber shoes. One hour of charge will be good for eight hours of using them. So that is fine. Then we have a little button here and um, clicking it once will turn on the device and clicking it twice will turn off the cyber shoes and here is the most important part, the roll. So using this roll and um, yeah, scrapping it against the carpet, the cyber shoes will know in which direction you're actually walking. And it's very, very solid. Actually, you can even stand on the roll. And th this is what I did sometimes. I stood up sometimes, probably I needed to get something, get the controller or get something else. And I was actually walking on these shoes. But of course, be careful because it's gonna be very slippery. Once you turn them on, they're going to wirelessly connect with the little white box that I showed you before, and you will see an LED turn on on the other side here. In terms of how solid these shoes are, well, I told you already, I stood on them, and well, I am a tall, heavy man, and they took it like champs, so they're still working, the rolls are still rolling, everything works fine and I'm sure it's tough to destroy these shoes. 
Also, you might be wondering, do you have to clean the roll sometimes? Is there going to be dust or dirt that gets stuck between the roll and the cyber shoes? And I can tell you in all of the time that I've been using them, I did not have to clean it once. And I asked the developers of these shoes and they told me, no, actually they have built the shoes in a way that this cannot happen. So now let me show you how to actually put on a shoe. So you simply put the shoe in here and well actually you'll be wearing the shoe obviously and then you tighten the strap that's it you simply pull on the strap and that's it obviously in the best case you would also be wearing the shoe <laughs> so here as you can tell it's very tight and the cyber shoes will not fall off so now let's have a look at the little receiver box that comes with the shoes and well that connects to your computer so that you can wirelessly connect the cyber shoes to your computer. There's one slider on the box and with this slider you can set the sensitivity of the shoes. So what kind of movement is still walking and what kind of movement is already running. Then there are two LEDs which will show you the connection status of the cyber shoes. And we have a micro USB port that connects to your computer and that is all. Now let's have a look at the software that you have to install. The software consists of two components. One is the driver that you only have to install once and the other one is this here, the Cyber Manager. You start it whenever you start your game and then you have two big choices. Well, follow HMD and follow Cyber Shoes. These are the two main modes and I'm going to exactly explain to you what they mean. Anyways, at this moment in time, your cyber shoes will already work. And now I'm going to let you know what I think of them. So the big question, of course, is does it work and how does it feel to walk in virtual reality using the cyber shoes? And I can tell you, I was really, really surprised when I used the cyber shoes for the first time because it feels great. and It's very, very immersive to walk in VR with the cyber shoes. Let me be completely honest with you. I had dismissed the cyber shoes when I saw people use them, when I saw the videos on the internet and when I actually saw people use them in real life because, well, it looked so awkward. Those people on these swivel chairs, like uh, walking away, I, I couldn't believe that this is good or that this would actually yeah, add to the whole experience. But when I first tried it out, at Gamescom in Cologne and then later when when I got these loaner units well I had completely changed my mind and I can tell you it works great so I did try the cyber shoes on all kinds of different games that offer free locomotion and every single time the cyber shoes work like a charm. What you see here right now is some evasion gameplay. So which is a fairly new game, a couple of days old. And I simply tried if I can use the cyber shoes here and I can. The cyber shoes work with all Steam VR games that offer free locomotion. So you can use the cyber shoes with all headsets that have access to Steam VR. So you can use it with the Oculus Rift, the HTC Vive, the Vive Pro, the Samsung Odyssey and all the other Windows mixed reality headsets. And as you can tell here, you can also use the cyber shoes with the upcoming Pimax headsets. The Cyber Shoes developers also promise compatibility with the Oculus Store games down the line, but at the moment of this review, this still was not finished. Now, using the Cyber Shoes, I was really surprised about how much fun it actually is to walk in VR using the Cyber Shoes and how immersive it feels. Now, another interesting thing is that it is actually really easy to use them and it's very, very intuitive to walk around in virtual reality with the cyber shoes. I believe that no one will need more than a few moments to understand how to walk forwards and how to walk backwards because these are actually the two kind of movements that you can do with the cyber shoes, moving forwards and moving backwards. Now, can you strafe? Well, you have seen the rules before, so no, you cannot strafe, but there's one mode which is actually more real than strafing and that is follow cyber shoes but i'm going to talk about the two modes follow hmd and follow cyber shoes a bit later using the cyber shoes does add another layer of immersion to virtual reality it's simply such a big difference 
if you simply have to yeah click on a button or touch the touchpad in order to move or if you really have to walk in virtual reality but of course that also means everything feels more real yeah you do feel that you've been walking for half an hour an hour or two hours so of course you will get yeah more tired using the cyber shoes as opposed to simply clicking on a button whenever you want to move overall i can simply say it's just fun to use the cyber shoes and i felt like i was in an arcade so it feels like you can bring the arcade into your home and that is pretty amazing another added benefit and that will be very important for lots of people is that this kind of locomotion using the cyber shoes will actually reduce motion sickness so why is that so well motion sickness occurs because there's a disconnect between what you see like you're moving around and what your body feels staying in place and simply clicking on the touchpad now with the cyber shoes actually you do move around and it feels like kind of natural what you're doing so your body knows hey actually i'm moving now and that is also what you see in virtual reality so there's no disconnect anymore and you won't feel motion sick anymore and i can confirm it's true it really does reduce motion sickness so motion sickness because of free locomotion actually had not been a problem for me anymore with the current generation headsets but since i have the pimax headsets with this huge field of view it did become a problem again but thanks to the cyber shoes this has gone away and i'm now able to play for longer play sessions without having the feeling of getting sick so now let me explain to you the difference between the two modes the one being follow hmd and the other one being follow cyber shoes so let me show you that difference in arizona sunshine first of all here i'm using the follow hmd mode in this mode i will always walk into the direction that i'm looking at in virtual reality let's say i want to move over that bridge i will have to look at the end of the bridge if i look back because i want to see something like a zombie or so and i'm still walking then i will walk back backwards so this mode it does work however if you think like you can yeah look to the right or left why you want to go straight actually then this will not work so here i'm showing this to you i'm looking left and right and then looking back a bit and i will walk back the other mode is called follow cyber shoes and let's change to that mode now in the follow cyber shoes mode actually you will walk into the direction that the cyber shoes are pointing at and that is in my opinion the much better mode so actually there are some sensors in the cyber shoes and thanks to these sensors the shoes will know in which direction they are pointing and you can walk forwards and still look to the right left or behind you and walk and you will still walk into the same direction now i was often asked can you actually strafe with the cyber shoes now with this mode with the follow cyber shoes mode you actually kind of can so how does it work well if you want to strafe then well you simply point the shoes into the direction that you want to strafe in walk and then you can still look into the direction of your enemies and that is some kind of strafing and it really works great so in my opinion definitely the follow cyber shoes mode is the mode to go for if you want a more natural kind of movement and you see now i look to the left and i was still walking to the front so after all this praise we also have to look at the disadvantages and well i found one in particular that i think is a disadvantage and hopefully this will get solved in the future and this is your height in the game because well you're sitting and that's also why in vr you are not being represented at your normal height well if the game actually helps you to adjust it like for example in skyrim then this is not a problem but not in all games you can adjust your height actually the developers told me that it was a feature of the software that you could adjust your height in game but the latest steam vr update broke it and they're now working on bringing it back to the cyber shoes software 
Another problem that actually might not be a real problem is that the walking might make you feel tired. It's just like in real life. And probably you will not be able to play for two, three, four hours in a row because, well, you'll be walking for exactly the same amount of time. So now let's come to the conclusion. Do the cyber shoes hold their promise to allow you to work in virtual reality and actually to add another layer of immersion? Now the answer is yes. I was surprised how intuitive it is to work in VR with the cyber shoes and really they do add another layer of immersion and it feels good to work in virtual reality with the cyber shoes. So for everyone who would like to add another layer of immersion to their VR experience and also for those people who easily feel sick normally, feel motion sick in virtual reality, the cyber shoes are a really great investment. And if you're fast, you can still get them cheaper now in the Kickstarter than they will be when they go on sale regularly. So am I going to use the cyber shoes now for every single game that offers locomotion every single time that I play? The answer is, no, because sometimes I might want to play for two, three, four hours because the game is so awesome. And then I believe I would simply get too tired by walking around with the cyber shoes. However, if I want to play for 30 minutes or one hour, and if I want to have the most immersive experience possible at home, then indeed I'm going to use the cyber shoes. So I believe the cyber shoes are well worth the $200 asking price that you can get now in the Kickstarter. So yeah, definitely go for them if you want a more immersive experience or if you have problems with motion sickness because these shoes could really help you with that. Now that's it for the MRTV review of the Cyber Shoes. I hope this was helpful for you. If yes, give it a thumbs up. And of course, if you have not yet subscribed to MRTV yet, do so now. I'm looking forward to see you in the next episode. Thank <laughs> you.